Y'all like houses? <laughs> I love looking at houses on the internet, on Zillow, on Redfin, on Realtor.com, on Apartments.com, on basically everything. I got a DM from my boy, Buff Daddy HD. Go follow Justin. He's got 6,328 followers right now. <coughs> Go to Twitter.com slash Buff Daddy HD and give him a follow. Let's see if we can get him to 10K. Hold on. Video editor. Crank game, please. John Sam. Who the fuck is this? Justin? Are you cheating on me? Anyway, Justin DM'd me this house. Apparently this house has been going around on the internet for a little bit. And he said to me, this might sound weird, but trying to find the bathtub during a 3D tour of this house could make a good video. This house is fucking insane. Let's try it. Let's, I can't. Where is it? Hold on, where's the- where's the 3D tour of this house? Realtor.com, I know you got me with these 3D views. You don't. You almost always do, Realtor.com. A bunch of people have been doing this and I wanted to do it. I need content. Please! Uh, well, instead of that, I guess we're just gonna do this real quick. Because I'm- I've already started recording. So let's just do price high to low. Because I want to see what this $160 million home has to offer. But I would love a 3D tour. Come on. Give me a 3D tour, baby. Give me a 3D tour, baby. Wait, 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 wait. Must have 3D home. Let's look at this $18 million home. Real quick. Just real quick. What does it have to offer? How do I, how do I move? <laughs> how do I move? How do I do anything? This is stupid. This is stupid video. Unusual homes archive. Whoa. A slightly haunted home. What is this slightly haunted home? How much is it going for? 144,000. What is this Miami temple? Why buy a Miami beach house when you can buy a temple? Why would you buy this? Rich people are dumb, dude. Why the hell would you buy that? Why would you want to live there? We're just homes on Realtor.com. Realtor.com is always coming in clutch with the Silence of the Lamb homes. Really? That's interesting. That is very interesting. How much did that sell for? It was only 195 grand? I would think that just because it's a famous home from a movie that it would be worth way more than that what the hell is this i would not want this in my house i would feel creeped out by this why would you want to live here like i i just i don't i was about to say i kind of see the appeal i don't see the appeal i would feel weird all the time here's what we can do price minimum let's go 10 10 million max let's see what we got with these crazy ass homes let's look at this see i don't I don't understand this immediately. Okay, hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all, let's go to the dollhouse view. Oh my god, it's so fucking huge. Where's the front door? <laughs> Literally, where's the front door? Is this the front? Yes, here we go. So here's the front door. Nice. What do you do with all this space? Because the people that are gonna live here, it's gonna be like maybe a family of four. You know, people that buy houses this big, it's never a family of like 20 people because there's 18 bathrooms or whatever in this house for some reason. It's never that many people living in this kind of house. It's always like a normal sized family. Can I not go in the bedrooms? Apparently I can't go in the bedrooms, whatever. What's down here? Oh, there's an elevator, casual. I mean, that's not, that's not even gonna be the most is this the master? This bedroom is pretty sick. Except, you know what I don't like? Never mind, actually. Well, I actually don't like these floors. Now that I now that I look at it. I thought they were tile at first. I don't like tile floors, not in a bathroom or not in a kitchen. Also, I don't like Ah, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense. Just so much. This room in here is bigger than the first apartment that I ever had. Uh, way bigger. Okay, let's go all the way down here. You can't even go down there. Where do you even go? Okay, the layout of this house is weird. Is this the kitchen? I don't think I, I don't like this. Here's the thing. This house is, what is it, 50 million? Also, this dining room, so big, covered in mirrors. I don't want to see myself eating. No one wants to see themselves eating. When it's so much space that you're not going to use, you're never going to have two, four, six, eight. You're, uh, the amount of times you're going to have 10 people over for dinner, 
What's this? What is this space? It's stupid. You don't even have a TV. You don't even have a TV in that room. You better have like a, a fucking crazy movie theater in your house. This is weird. Why, why do we have two weird islands like this? It's stupid. Here's a TV. This doesn't look homey at all. This doesn't look comfy. I don't want to live here. I don't want to live here. I don't like it. Rich people are stupid and they don't know what they're talking about. Is this a movie theater room? Okay, this is the only room that's good. Even this isn't as cozy as I want it to be, you know? And you know, you know, well, first of all, here's something I want to say. Okay, I think the speakers are up, are up here. The amount of times people are using this room probably insanely minimal they're probably not even going to use this room at all two uh i feel like this amount of space is not being utilized correctly i feel like if you're going to have a cinema room you could undo this fancy bullshit here and get yourself a bigger screen i feel like they went and got all this fancy ass furniture when all you need is some uh, like a couch a nice couch and the sound quality probably isn't that good i'm just gonna go out and say it. i bet the speakers in there aren't even that good it's probably not even the surround sound it's probably just hooked up to the <laughs> they have this crazy room and it's just the speakers from <laughs> from the from the projector i would not be surprised actually either that or they have the craziest like surround sound ever but like they don't use it obviously because they just paid someone 50 grand to install all this shit and they're like yeah sure whatever hot tub inside pool inside i don't like it i don't like it it makes it feel like a hotel and it's weird okay i'm mad at this house i'm going back so that first one was 46. see there's some houses especially in the la area because la is so insanely expensive so this was eight bed 20 20 bathrooms <laughs> Why? The upkeep on the house is insane. You got a pool inside and outside? All right, this house looks a little bit, one, it's smaller. Okay, right out of the gate. Right out of the gate, it's a little bit homier. Still, I don't like the long hallways of nothing, you know? It's weird. Okay, the kitchen. I like this kitchen. I like this, I like this setup. This little like thing here. You got the thing in the fridge. <laughs> it's a kitchen. Come over here. There's a nice sitting area, I guess. It feels a little weird. It feels a little cramped. I hope that would open up to a TV or something because I don't get the point in a lot of cases. I do like how this opens up. That's nice. That's nice. I don't get the point in a lot of cases. And I know that some people are going to tell me that I'm wrong. And I, I mean, this is my opinion. I don't like having a sitting room or a family room as well as a living room. Like a living room where you have like the TV and stuff. Because... The, you barely use the sitting room. You know, it just, I'm all about utilizing space. Every room in my house that I currently live in has a purpose, you know? So you have this, there's no TV in here. What do you do? You just sit in here? How many rooms do you just sit in, you know? Whoa, okay, so here we go. Big room, utilizing the space well. This is a great home gym. How often do they use the home gym? I don't know, who cares? That's up to them, but at least they're utilizing the space well. I don't like these long ass hallways really. Okay, we got a room. There was a ghost man there. Where did he go? Hold on. Oh, ghost foot. Okay, we got another room. I like this room a lot. This is a big, big room. I like it. I don't like the way that they have it set up necessarily, but it's a cool room. This video has really transformed. Things that I don't like. I grew up with both of my, both of my parents are artists. So pretty much no room in my house was white. I don't know if any room was. I've always had colorful walls in my house, in my current place, because I, because I rent. It is like a a creamish color but when we moved in it was all yellow which was really overwhelming and not like a good looking yellow either um but whenever you see a staged house it's always all white and that just is a huge turnoff for me because it feels very sterile and i don't like it i don't know where i was going with that but that's all i have to say about that oh and all the furniture like the way that stuff is staged always feels very like it's staged so it's supposed to look really nice but it doesn't feel lived in at all you know it feels very this is a catalog here's a home gym okay okay it's a nice nice omium nice 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 pills for the art okay hmm hmm you know and i wish okay there's a this is actually a really decent size yard that's something that you don't see in la a lot what's this video 
<laughs> I'm just looking at houses on Zillow. Also, this is kind of weird. Like, if I lived in this house, this would be perfect for me because I would use this as a recording room. This is like a great size recording room. Although it's mostly windows, so it would, sound wise would not be good, but you could do stuff to help that. But like, what, it, what did they build this for, you know? They built this to sit in? What is this? <laughs> like, again, what are you using that space for? This is the master bedroom. What a massive bedroom. Oh my God, it's so big. It's so big and like, you guys know what I mean by like unlivably large? Where it's just, it's too much space. It doesn't feel cozy. It doesn't feel nice and warm. It's just too much. I don't like it when there's too much space. When things are too, too open, it feels very cold and I don't like it. I really do like the way that this house wraps around. Is this, what is that? That's so cool. Is that water from the pool? That's kind of sick. That's pretty dope actually. I like this, this yard thing and the fire pit. I like this actually a lot. That's pretty cool. I like how everything opens up to the yard. I think that's, Ooh, whoa, that's sick. The bezels would annoy the shit out of me if you're actually watching shit on that because it's not all one screen. But that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. That's some fucking big rich people shit. Did they have two kitchens? Why do you have two kitchens? <laughs> what? Why do you have two kitchens right next to each other? Oh man, we're about to experience something that most LA houses don't have. A basement. I love basements. I grew up on the East Coast. Pretty much everybody has a basement. Oh yes, a movie theater room. Nice. This feels very small. Very, I don't know. It's hard to tell because you're not actually there, but it feels kind of cramped. I think I would like one a little bit bigger. Just a little tiny bit wider. But that, see, that's the other thing though, is I say a little bit wider, but this looks so cozy. Man, that looks so cozy. I love it. I do. I do really like it. A ping pong table. Nice. I would put a pool table there, but that's fine. Laundry room. <gasps> Is there a laundry chute? Oh my God, there's a laundry chute. Oh, that's everything. Oh, why do you have four washer dryers? Why not, I guess, if you have a huge house like this. I guess that makes sense now that I think about it. That house is actually pretty cool. I wanna look at this $29 million house last. Hmm. Kinda shitty to be honest. All right guys, well, that video took a turn. I expected to go and look at weird houses. We ended up just looking at real rich people shit. I love going on Zillow and all of those websites and looking at houses. It's fun. I would love to own a home someday. Really what my goal is, is just to get a house so I can have a yard for Spencer because he is everything to me and he deserves it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have weird houses or anything, you can tweet me if you want uh, cause maybe I'll actually do like a weird house thing, but this was kind of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that like button right in the face. And I will see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Stay cranky. Bye. What is up, my cranky crew?